Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torian, and welcome back to Emirata Rome, as we are playing as the Roman Republic. So, last episode, we started the third Macedonian War, which has gone very well, and has been very easy. Uh, so, we'll see how things go in this episode. Uh, we'll continue it, try and get all this territory around the Black Sea conquered, uh, as well as uh, this territory around the Black Sea. Here in the south, there's their, their ships. Okay, so that's good to know. I don't know if our fleet is going to get here in time to stop them. Hopefully. I don't think so, though, guys. I think they might get out, which would be a problem. Still trying to chase these troops down here with those guys. We do have to keep that in mind. And just working on these sieges now. Uh, so these guys finally finished up that siege. So let's go and grab that province now, and then we'll have that entire state. And now we'll have two armies taking this territory. There are fortifications that need to be taken. So what we'll do is we'll save those for last. Go through here, sweep through this region, take over all the other provinces. Won't be able to get that one, though. And uh, once we've taken all the provinces, we'll just sit here on the sieges while they finish this up. So that's the plan, guys, while these guys chase this army here down. Uh, next location that the siege will be done is this one, though they might not start leaving here. Yeah, they did start leaving. Okay, not surprised. Could leave just a few troops just to take these, these over. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and when they get over to here, we'll split them. And then we'll have like the, the main army chasing those guys down while a small army takes all these provinces back over for us. Uh, though it does seem that they took a fort here. That's probably what took them so long. So we actually need enough troops to take a fort. Okay, so we need to leave a few thousand, uh, basically, uh, in this army to kind of sweep over here and then grab that fort. So that's a shame. I guess that fort was good, though, because it, it stopped them from taking more. They would have took over a lot more. They landed, basically landed a lot sooner than I thought they did. Uh, I did forget to mention here in the beginning, if this is going to be a shorter video, guys. Uh, it's going to be a shorter episode. Let me show these guys here training. I don't have as much time to record, so and, and it's actually going to be a shorter episode. Usually when I say it's going to be a shorter video, it ends up not being a shorter video. That won't be the case this one, guys. I, I really do have uh, a lot less time than usual, so it's it's going to be shorter, unfortunately. It is what it is, man. It happens. And, again, they are trying to get peace. They're offering us less land, maybe because they've they've been successful over here. I don't know. Yeah, they might end up taking that over before we can do anything about it. Let's go and see where this is here. All right, so let's go and keep on advancing over here. And just kind of see if there's any other troops that need to be moved. Looks like we're good to go here. And these guys are taking over that over. Uh, taking all that over, excuse me. Alright, so we'll get these guys over here, and then we'll split them. We'll create a new uh, unit here. And as far as what we give them, doesn't really matter, frankly. Just some troops to defend themselves and do the sieges. So let's go ahead and give them... Obviously they need enough to do the siege. So probably about 3,000 here, but you know what, let's do 4,000. We'll give them one of those. All right, excellent. Uh, so these 4,000 are going to stay here and do the siege, while the 6,000 here are going to attempt to fight these guys here. They're already locked. I uh, don't know where they're going. Clearly not that way. Okay, so we need to go this way. Try and chase them down. I, I think we're going to have to chase them like all over our damn territory. It's going to be such a pain in the butt. We did get over here in time to engage these guys. All right, excellent. That should be another win. Hopefully. Uh, we are highly damaged, probably more than they are, because they've been sitting in port, I think, this entire time. We do have the numbers. They had the better general. I don't know how that's going to go, guys. That could be a loss, but we got to we gotta fight it. Uh, I'm not going to not fight it. That's what the, the point of those ships is, is to fight the enemy navy. Uh, so we do have another governor position opened up. Uh, we're going to have to start giving some of these away to family members, guys, or we're going to find ourselves in a, in a pickle. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and give those... Because uh, you can't just keep giving, giving to the best character who happens to be a minor character. All right, let's have these guys go over here. Uh, they will also come over this way. Let them go over that province. While this guy is going to wrap... Well, you know what? That guy could probably do that. Let's have him come over here. And then he will come take that over. All right. Excellent. Taking this, let's go ahead and see how we want to do this. We're going to just kind of bounce back and forth and get all this taken over. 
Uh, looks like we were able to engage them. Excellent. So that worked out favorably for us. We were able to completely wipe them out without having to chase them down. I was kind of worried about chasing them down there. It ends up not being an issue. All right, excellent. Now we'll go ahead and take all this territory back over that they took from us. And just try and keep our, our eyes on it over here. Uh, these guys are done, so let's have them grab that one. Or you know what, let's go over here. Let's kind of sweep across, because the fort is at the, the back end over there. All right, just make sure all these units are sitting, not or nobody's sitting here, I mean. Sea battle's going right now. This is the next siege that'll be done here. And we want to be gentle there, since that is our own damn territory. Let's go ahead and send these guys over to start working on the siege now. In fact, we'll send the larger one over there, and then just have these guys do all the, uh, the little sieges. Sea battle there does look like it's going to go in our favor. Uh, yeah, looks like it's definitely going to go in our favor. All right, excellent. That's good news. All right, so these guys are the next siege that finishes up. Let's go and move over here. Remember, we do have uh, our diplomats trying to get us a, a war goal over there on that tribe in Hispania. I don't know how that's going to end up working out. Uh, we'll have to see since, remember, they are currently in a conflict. We will approve them for trade. I'm going to see, well, no, nah, their opinion is probably going to be, yeah, garbage because of our high aggressive expansion, which is at 53. I'm trying not to get as high as we got that one time where we were at like 70 something. We got pretty high. Oh yeah, we have these 10,000 just sitting here. Well, I think we'll probably move them down now. I don't, I don't think we're going to run, well, there's still a lot of territory left to take. All right, we'll keep them all together for now. Is there any forts left to be taken? That's a negative. I'm not seeing any other forts. All right, so we'll just bring them over here. I, I just don't want us to run into any large troops there. We'll just be able to sweep these uh, 20,000 light infantry from the field easily. It would not be difficult for them to do. And see what we want to do here. This is, again, problems with Septimus. Between Septimus and our, our current consul. Is, is he dead yet? No. <laughs> He's still healthy here. Yeah, I don't think his health has been declined anywhere quick enough to, to kill him. I'm hoping that he doesn't serve his whole term, because, good God, that's until 642. Uh, speaking of the year here, guys, we've passed 627, which means that we are less than 100 years out from the end of the game. Yeah, we are about, well, with this year almost over. Yeah, you'd have to count this year as being almost over, which means we're about 92 years out from the end of the game. And so we've played our, you know, 100 something years, closer towards 200. I don't remember uh, exactly when the, the game starts. Is it 460? I, I don't recall. But the point is we've been playing for a while. Uh, you know, we're, we've are we been playing for, you know, if I, if I just went with 460, it's like 170 something years, somewhere around there. Uh, so, you know, we are very much on the back end of the game, the, the back third of the game, I think. Yeah, somewhere around there. And so we don't have a lot of time left. We're not going to recreate the Roman Empire as, as it was uh, in 27 uh, BCE. Uh, we will not be recreating the empire. We, we wouldn't have all that. We'd have to get most of Hispania. We'd have to get you know all of Gaul. Um, don't need Britain yet. You know Caesar had, had crossed and, and gone in there. And technically, they had kind of nominally uh, given allegiance to, to Rome. We're paying them some money, but yeah, Britain was definitely not under... Uh, under Roman control at that time. Yeah, you'd have to get all of this as well. Uh, we have to get all this here. Yeah, I, I don't think we'll, we'll get anywhere near it. We would have had to move a lot quicker in this campaign, guys, if we were to create the empire that, that Rome had at that time. That wasn't really the goal of the campaign, though. We were just having fun, just playing the game, enjoying it. I didn't really have any like long-term goal on on uh, what we are going to create or what we are going to, to conquer and what we are going to end the game with, what our goal was. But again, if we were trying to, to recreate the Roman Empire, we would have had to move a lot quicker, like always at war, and kind of ignore aggressive expansion a little bit, and uh, just spend a lot of time conquering and, and really focusing on burning that AE off quick. Uh, but yeah, that wasn't the goal, so we will not have the empire that Rome did, but it should be pretty big by that point, uh, just you know, not as large. Uh, so let's see what we want to do here. Uh, we've been sitting on this event for some time. So with this one, he gains more popularity, loses uh, more loyalty, and he becomes arrogant. Which, I thought you could hover over that and it show what the trait gives. Apparently not. Maybe I'm thinking of CK3. 
Uh, or we say, let him see if he prefers the dungeon to Ruma, in which case we will imprison him, and he, we will gain tyranny, and he's going to lose a ton of loyalty. And you know what? I kind of feel like that's the best option, but the problem is here that he's currently in a battle. But the battle's already won. So you know what? Let's get rid of this guy. I'm, I'm sick of him. I'm tired of him. And, and he can't possibly be the be best character for this job, right? Now, he is a member from the, uh, the Claudius family. Hmm. That's something to consider as well. Let's see if we have any better. Yeah, I'll just take a take a peek and see what we got here. You know, we might not have anybody better. Yeah, we could put this guy from the Decius. He's the same. Never mind. All right. I thought we'd have better uh, admiral, potential admirals. We'll just have to, to do the... Uh, do this one here. He'll still be loyal. The popularity isn't too much of an issue. Uh, maybe he'll become a consul. He could be a decent consul. Uh, and then the arrogant traits, if we look at that, gives those penalties there. Uh, the loyalty is the biggest hit, so that's a problem. So now loyalty is much lower than I, I thought it was going to be. So yeah, we're getting kind of low there. All right, well, hopefully it'll tick up soon. And then the, uh, the other things to consider is he has less charisma now and higher prominence and also changes what which uh parties he he supports okay so all those guys are moving there let's make sure that all these troops here are working working hard we did finish up that battle we didn't lose a single ship uh they, they attacked with no morale just completely relying on their better general and that was super stupid uh, they're just incredibly reckless and this is what i'm talking about why the hell would we ever put the ai in control of our troops man look at what they're doing with their fleet they're just throwing it away just just threw it away. They threw away the entire fleet. It's just so ridiculous. And, and it's not just this game, guys. All the, all the Paradox games, maybe all strategy games, actually. I can't think of any strategy games that had really good AI. I'm trying to think of one, but I can't think of any that has good AI. Uh, AI is garbage in strategy games. It's just the way it is. Uh, so I don't want to put AI in control of anything. Uh, but you can see, that's. I think that's a perfect example why you don't want them in control of anything. So their fleet is uh, gone. Uh, it's no longer a threat. Uh, Twenty-something ships can still move troops, though, so there is that to uh, to consider. And, and they're now past us as well. They're now coming down here. So we're going to repair these guys up here. In fact, because they're going that way, because I think that's the way they're going. Yeah, uh, because they're they're going over here. I guess we don't have to to repair there. We can repair anywhere. So it might just make sense to repair in the. Uh, oh, that's not a port. Uh, repair in the closest port. So we'll just go to this one. All right, uh, so these guys here, yeah, they, they're, they're sitting there. That's right. Uh, we're just taking these over. I don't think we'll be able to get anything else, guys. Let's make sure no troops are sitting around. All right, so these guys will take all this three. These guys will take these three. Yeah, looking pretty good so far up there in, uh, in the north. Be gentle. And now let's go ahead and grab this province here. These guys are getting that for us. The the next area is right here. So we're going to have them grab this next. And there is an actual army over here. Okay, so I am glad that I did not have these guys leave. They actually did have an army over here. The, the thing I was concerned about did happen. Okay, so let's get all these troops across here. We'll have to attack across the strait. Um, yeah, this is what I was concerned about. Uh, them doing uh, is having an army up here and they do they do have an army i thought maybe there's a, a possibility so that's why we kept the ten thousand here guys uh so let's go ahead and, and make use of them uh, that's why we have them here uh, i i thought that they're gonna end up being useless and that i sent these ten thousand up here for nothing uh but yeah it ended up working out for us they'll they'll defeat one army uh they might be able to come over here and attack these guys before that they get up there we'll have to, to pay attention to what's going on there uh, make sure that doesn't doesn't happen these guys need to come over here. All right, so they're taking that for us. And somebody else just took something. And I should have clicked on it beforehand, but whatever. And we will trade with them. Give them some of that woad. And this is it. This was probably what we took. Yeah, I'm assuming that was it. Uh, so the next one to be taken is that one. Okay. All right, so they'll, they'll win this battle. The question was, will they destroy us? I can't say. I don't know if they'll actually like completely destroy the troops. No, so they'll be on the retreat now. And they're retreating way over to here. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and have those guys take that for us. 
And the next siege is over here. Uh, though this one is also finished up. We'll have them go right there. Grab that one for us. And they'll likely attempt to come across here. They might take these two provinces first. It's the only way across unless they come way up here, which they might do. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But the 10,000 are on their way. I think they should get there because they'll, they'll stop to do these sieges. So they should get there in time. And I don't even know if these guys would want to cross and fight 5,000, even if they are just light infantry. Yeah, I don't know if they'd want to cross there. That could be a, a problem for them. Uh, let's go and get these guys pushing forward here. Okay. Uh, another siege just finished up somewhere. Wasn't down here, was it? No, wasn't down here. Uh, these guys were stopped uh, from going across. I'm guessing some troops, uh, or excuse me, some ships stopped them. Yeah, probably those ones right there. All right, so those guys would be able to, let me just take a look. And they might be able to bring troops down here, but remember, we now have an army to stop them from doing the madness they did before, just taking territory while we're not able to, to deal with them. Aggressive expansion's at 58 now. And yeah, they're gonna come take these two and that'll allow our 10,000 to get there in time. All right, awesome. Let's see who all we want to trade with. Trade with these guys. It does give an opinion penalty as long as you're trading once with them. You don't have to be doing uh, multiple trade rounds. All right, so remember we do have to do a siege over there. That's okay, it'll be done in time because we still got a lot of territory over here to get conquered. All right, so next siege is right there. And so we're just waiting for these 10,000 now. And again, I don't, yeah, I don't think they would even attack across with these. The question is, do we want to attack across? I don't see why not. We outnumber them vastly. So yeah, we'll probably go ahead and chase them down now. And he got dementia. Uh, Okay, so now we can see it. I guess it's got to be right here, because I think it's got to be affecting your character for you to be able to, to have the trait where you can see it. So that'll take his health down very rapidly, which is good. Because we want this guy to die. He's garbage. He's absolute garbage, guys. Uh, so all these guys here are done. Let's go ahead and get them moving over to here. And this guy over to there. All right, excellent. It's looking good. Should be able to get all that conquered right around the time when we finish up over here. Let's get them going over this way, and these guys going over this way. I feel like we're wasting a lot of time over there. These guys here are almost done. Is this the, the next one that's done? No, over here is the next one that's done. So we'll let them finish that up and then bring them over here. And we'll slowly kind of move them across here. We want them to stay behind the 10,000 man army so they don't get any more attacked and, and uh, take any more losses there, which is impacting the... Uh, overall war score a bit. Yeah, I just don't know, like, where are all their damn troops? Like, I couldn't even tell you, like, what they're doing. Now, we did get the civic advances done, though. All right, excellent. So, let's go ahead and uh, get another advancement. The civic advances are the, the ones that get done the quickest, because we've done the best character there. Uh, this guy could be changed out, at, maybe. Uh, that's just a level 9. I think we saw that before. Uh, this guy's here. Okay, he, he seems like he's better than he actually is, uh, because he's getting... Uh, that, the, that modifier bonus. Looking over here with this character, he's fine as well. So everybody's good there. Oh, but we never did pick an invention. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do that. We're gonna go with the civic advancements here, and we are going down here uh, to get in the, the extra capital import rounds. And so what do we want to get in the capital? I'm really hoping hoping that somebody will, something will be available here for the incense of the silk, but there's, there's not anything. Yeah, it's a shame. Hmm, how are we doing on food? Uh, we're having some issues with food. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and trade for a grain then. we will go and trade with just anybody, I suppose. Trade with these guys. All right, excellent. Uh, so that'll fix any any food issues there. We're able to do that proactively before we found ourselves any uh, issues. Uh, where's the next siege? Right here. We'll finish that up. Let's go and have them move over to the actual fort now. So they'll take the fort and then they'll take that province and then they're done up here. Let's take a look. Uh, those guys are the next ones that'll be done. Uh, we do have an exiled army. Okay, because they went through that territory. All right, well, that's fine. These guys are almost over to here. And remember, we're, we're chasing them down. So then we'll have the, uh, the 2,000 go across here. And we will trade with them. 
they're surrounded by this larger tribe here. Only 36% uh, percent there. I was hoping to get that done a little bit quicker. But we do still have a lot of war left. So we have to take this one here. But we can't go over there until after that siege is done to the, the fortification. Let's make sure these guys can sit here with any problem. Yeah, there's plenty of supply there for, for such a small army. And let's go and move these guys over to here now. All right, so we're just gonna slowly get all this taken and then we'll, we'll be done here. Uh, but we have these two sieges. I, you know, I don't know if these guys are gonna get done in time. They, they'll probably have to come down here and help them. Yeah, because I don't think they'll they'll be done yet. You know, I, I think we'll just have them race over to the, the fort. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get the fort done and then whoever finishes first, which will likely be this guy here, can help us out there. So we're repairing these ships. I'm probably gonna let them fully repair, guys. I think that'd be wise. All right, so we have, we'll have three uh, forts being sieged. All right, so there's that army. I wonder if I can catch them. We can. All right, so let's go and attack them there. And let's go and send these guys over to here. So yeah, we'll attack them there. We did not get anywhere near as much money as I thought we were gonna have from this conflict overall. Again, that one event, it cost like 600 something gold, was kind of costly. So we're engaging them there. Now that 1500, look at them turn around and run. They're like, nope, <laughs> I'm done. So we were able to completely wipe those guys out. Excellent, let's go and see if we can't chase these guys down now. Uh, seems like they can go into, oh, this is all uncolonized territory. Okay, I see. So with that, they're able to come in here and uh, go wherever they want. So we gotta try and chase them down. It's gonna be problematic. Let's go and send these guys over to here. And we just make sure there's nothing. Okay, so these guys are all working on sieges now. We didn't even need these these 15,000 to sit here, but I thought maybe, and I don't want them reconquering all this territory. So I don't feel like it was wasted. Uh, they could have helped out here, but you can see that we're still we're still up here anyways, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so these guys are done. Let's go ahead and have them come over here now. We'll try and chase them down. Let's see if we can't catch them. All right, so yeah, we'll do the battle there and, and get those uh, 1,500 destroyed. That also ticks that war score up, which is kind of hard to do, tick the war score up in this type of conflict because you're not uh, taking provinces. And as these guys get here, we'll, we'll have them take territory. Uh, these guys will go. Did we send anybody there? I think we sent somebody there. Let's have them go over there. And then... Have these 2,500 come over here and over here. Okay, so we get these guys wiped out. Yeah, I'm glad I kept the 10,000 over here. That worked out nicely for us. And did wipe those guys out as we expected. Since they're over here, they might as well help us out taking these provinces. Have them go over here. He has to just go over there somewhere, grab something for us. And we're gonna tell them no. No, sir. You shan't have any of our goods. All right, so all three sieges are progressing right now. Okay. And uh, we'll likely need all that time to, to get this territory here conquered. That's what I'm expecting. And do have some disloyal characters, but not currently an issue. War exhaustion's pretty darn high, and we take it down really darn slow. There's, of course, options for getting it down slower if we wanted to, but man, I sure like that monthly uh, military experience that is helping us out quite a bit, man. We're at point ninety. Well, we're at point ninety nine. Now we're at point ninety eight. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Who's this disloyal character here? Oh, he's a governor. All right, so that's not good. So we might need to do something about that to try and boost him. Let's grant him a holding, just a useless holding here. And that is not enough, is it? It's enough to get him loyal. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so next siege will be done. Oh, these guys are done, so let's go ahead and send them forward. And this one here is just about done. All right, so we'll have them come over to this province next. 
Boppo the Slave. I want, I want to say we've seen this event before. Yeah, pretty sure we've seen this event before. We say he will go no further, in which case he'll be given off his suit and his ability. He'll get loyalty. Is he any good? Yeah, he's, he's not bad. He's not a bad character here. And if we did that, then we will lose popularity and gain corruption. Kind of irrelevant, because I think we're going to die soon. Well, I say soon. He must have been... He must have had a lot of health here. But as these kind of tick our health down, won't be as much of an issue. And our popularity is really high anyways. He'll be a loyal character, but I don't really like when they just give him offices. And then, you, of course, get the, the citizen habitus penalty. So I don't think we're going to do any of that. We say we will not tolerate slaves on the Senate floor. In which case, we'll gain popularity. We'll still get the corruption. He will lose loyalty, of course. And uh, we'll get some approval from the bony. I don't even know how. We haven't looked at this in a long time. Uh, everybody likes us but the popularis. Okay, well, they're probably going to like us even less now. Or we say interfere in politics never. In which case, he he has the chance to gain an office. We'll get 15 political influence. We'll lose popularity and lose corruption. Yeah, we'll just do this one here. I like getting that national citizen happiness for 120 months. That'd be really helpful. So yeah, we'll do that one. And slaves being unhappy is, well... Pretty normal, I imagine. Not too happy about being a slave. Sieges, this one here looks like it'll probably finish up first. We could use our fleet to, to help in either one of those two, but again, I do want to, to get them fully repaired here. Just in case. Uh, so these guys have finished up here. Let's go ahead and have, I don't think anybody's set to take this one, so let's make sure that we have this guy going over there to grab that for us. He will go over here. All right, so it's kind of slowly progressing here across this territory and getting it all, all conquered. Uh, we do have this army here. Let's go ahead and send these guys. Let's bring them somewhere. It'll take them a while to walk, obviously. Oh, there we go. All right, so they're here. Finally. Took them long enough to get here. Glad I brought... I, I kept troops over here, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys attacking. Uh, they'll probably take that. Maybe not. They might leave beforehand. No, they did decide to stay. All right, so they actually have lots of troops over here. So we're going to need to bring both of the armies now while we finish these up here, guys. So they actually finally got involved. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, they're finally here. Let's just bring these guys, bring them up along the roads for right now. And we'll need, we'll need both of those armies, though. Uh, we do have another governor position. Uh, again, I, I really feel like we have to start giving these to family members. So we'll just do that guy there. Let's make sure nobody's just sitting around, which, of course, there is somebody sitting around. Let's have this guy come over here, I suppose. All right. So this is the area we need to be concerned with. Cannot let them take all of our territory here. They're going to take some of it over, though, while we're working on those sieges. It's not much to be done about that. They're going to take some of it, and we'll just have to take it back. All right, so we did finish several locations here let's go ahead and go here actually you know we'll send those guys there and them over here and these guys can come on down over here actually let's have this guy go over to that oh, we will have him go this way okay so we'll need those 10,000 down here I really hate having these 10,000 over here as well because yeah we are facing I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. It's it, One of these armies could easily, I think, defeat them on their own. And we have two of them. Here comes another 6,000, though. All right, so we're going to attack them there. I don't even really care about the fact that we're crossing the river. You can see they're trying to, to leave here. What we might want to do... Oh, we finished that up. All right, so that's excellent. You know, we're just going to go ahead and continue with having these guys fight here. I feel like this army here, that's why we have them there. That's what they can do. They can They can take care of this. So do we want to stop and, and then fight them over here? No, no, I just wanna I just wanna wipe them out. These guys have come over here. It looks like we can colonize somewhere. Oh nice. Yeah, we're gonna colonize there. No reason not to. Let's go ahead and see who's wanting a trade with us. We're gonna decline both of those tribes in Hispania. Alright, so still waiting for that siege to finish up. Be doing this battle here should be a easy win there. I don't think anybody's gonna come assist them either. 
and see who this is. Tell them no. All right, so let's make sure that all these troops here are, are moving. Yeah, we have a guy here that could be moving. Let's have him come on down to here. And this guy can come on over to right here. All right, almost done over there, guys. All right, so this battle again, very, very easy battle here. Nice victory. See who wants to trade with us. It looks like this, uh, this war might not end this episode. Like I thought it was, uh, because, you know, obviously it's a small, uh, shorter episode, but also it's just been, uh, we've actually had to, to fight a little bit, which is surprising. We haven't had to do much of that. All right, so he'll come over here and grab that for us. Yeah, we haven't really had to, to do very many battles. Uh, very, very good battle there, guys. Yeah, good numbers. All right, fantastic. I, I hate how it does that, and you just can't get rid of it. All right, so these guys are coming over this way. Uh, let's have them go up this way and stop them from doing whatever they're trying to do. And then they'll come over here. We have to get that uh, taken back over. We need to stop them from taking territory from us. Make sure that these guys are also still pushing forward and stuff. Okay, everything looks good up there. We'll just have to peek up there every once in a while. I think it's more important for us to pay attention to this area. All right, so another 5,000 there. So we're going to need to stop them. So let's actually move over there now since they're locked. And, and their armies are too split up. Uh, that's what the problem here for them is, is that their armies are too split up at the moment. All right, so anybody over here not working? Yeah, we got a few units. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys. Just hope that uh, it's not an issue. We might pick them up at a port, but I, I think we're going to, again, probably let these guys repair up a little bit more. But we might want to pick them up so we'll have another 10,000 here to, to help us out. Uh, but for right now, let's just move them over to, to A port. We'll move them right there, I suppose. While these guys finish this up, because, yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it'll be necessary to keep them over here. All right, so we should have enough to, to finish up here. Although I guess all this is just about done, isn't it? Is anybody taking that? Yeah, he's taking that. He's taking that. So yeah, we'll just go over here, I suppose. You know what? Let's, let's get somebody walking over there. Because that is kind of a distance. I'll have this guy walking way over to there. And then he can just go over to... I guess over to here. All right, excellent. All right, so we'll be battling them right there. Uh, they might get away. It looks like they're going to get away. All right, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and have... They're, they're doing a, a fort, so I'm actually fine with them doing the fort, but we can't get past them, so we'll have to battle them there. And I guess it's in the hills, so it's a good place to, to fight. Let's make sure there's no other sieges that we're not aware of. Got something finished somewhere. Wasn't down here though. Must have been up here. These guys probably aren't aren't needed over here. I don't think they're gonna get over here in time. Uh, it took them a long time to walk over here. Not surprising, of course. It's a long distance to have to walk. All right, so that siege is almost done. We'll get access to another unit here. Here we're fighting in the hills, so very beneficial. Even though they bring in another six thousand, it's not gonna go well for them. Um, here we were not able to catch them. Let's go ahead and see what that's okay. So we're gonna grab that one real quick before we bring this army down here, and just kind of chase these guys down. Though I, I really want this province here. So if we can't catch them, it might be just better to go ahead and grab that because this is part of this region here. So I want that. All right. So yeah, looking good. And. Have these guys go ahead and grab this, and then we'll be done with all this here. And it's just these provinces right there that still need to be taken. Uh, let's go and send them over to this province here. Uh, it looks like he's, he's already doing it, so we'll take that one. And then there's just one left to be taken. And then they're done. Oops, don't want to do that. Though I don't think they'll ever get back engaged in the fight. I don't think they'll be here in time. It takes too long to walk across unless we use the ships to transport them. Uh, but with the aggressive expansion where it's at right now, I don't, I don't know that we'll want to uh, 
I mean, it's not it's not as bad as it could be, but but yeah, I think it's about just about time, guys, for us to to end this conflict. Uh, we just need to get the the rest of the territory that I've committed myself to to getting that I said I was going to take. Um, I think we don't arrive there first. It'd probably be wise to to just give our our troops a month or whatever. Let's see what they're doing. All right, so they're still on the move there. And these guys almost have control of that. And we'll see what they do next. It looks like they're leaving. Yeah, because they don't really want to attack us in that province. So I, I don't think they're going to. But we'll keep them there for a second and see what, what happens there. Let's go and have them push forward over here now. Get behind them. And just see if there's anybody over here that needs to be assigned. I don't, I, you know, I think all the provinces are set to be taken except for that one. So we should be good to go over there. Now, and again, I don't even know if we're going to bother moving them down. I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, so they're going to try and take this here. We'd have to attack them there in the hills. Hmm. I think we're just going to do it. And maybe they'll bring all these troops. I don't know. We'll have to see, guys. Yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. So this is going to be a big battle here. Hmm. I think we've got a much better general. So, yeah. We should be good to go, even though we'll be fighting in the hills. It's, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, we should get a win there. we got similar numbers. This siege here is uh, taking forever. Uh, but once it's done, we'll have them attack those 2,000, which are just sitting there. You can see they did try and bring the troops back across. Or they just raised the levees up again. I think that's actually what happened. All right, so yeah, we're waiting on that battle, waiting on these sieges here. All right, so this siege is finally finished. Let's go ahead and now attack them there, get those guys wiped out, take that province back, uh, the one they took from us. And let's just see what's going on here. These guys can just probably sit right here, honestly. I don't even think they're needed uh, to come way over here. So what we'll do, I think we'll just use these guys here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna mess with any of these anymore. Send them all over to... Is this the one with the port or is this the one with the port? This one is. Let's send them all over to this province here. As they uh, finish up. Okay. So we've got that battle going on there. Again, that should be a nice victory. That 6,000 decided to, to leave. They're like, nope, I'm not doing that. Uh, these guys are done here as well, which means we once again have control, complete control of that state. I'm a little bit worried about troops coming from behind here, though. These guys are on the retreat. I feel like we have enough troops over there, so let's go to move these guys over here to, to stop them from pushing forward in any of these locations here, particularly right there is where I'm concerned about, guys. Uh, yeah, we just don't want them taking this from us after we work so hard. Getting all that conquered. More worked hard micromanaging troops, moving them around rather than uh, working hard in battle. Very good kill-death ratio again, guys. Absolutely fantastic. And they're going to send 1,500. Rhodes is going to send 1,500 here. I don't know why. They don't even know why. Let's go and send these guys down here. Because you can see that they got a large army that's starting to uh, mass right there. And we still want to get the rest of this conquered. Alright, so let's go and go here. Yeah, they are battling there. I think they, they maybe they were going to assist those troops. I, I don't know, man. It's strange. All right, so I think what we'll end up doing is having this army here finish up all these sieges while these guys here focus on defeating the the troops that are up here. They are attacking with another 6,000. You know what? They might come with the 11,000, guys. Uh, so that's that battle. We got another win. Also captured somebody. And they are going to attack us there. This is, is strange. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll fight that battle, though. This is all uh, favorable for us. Very easy. So these guys here are all done. Let's go and put them over here. In fact, they might have too many troops if we put them all there, I think. Yeah, that could cause an issue. So what we might want to do is just take a few of them put them into a different port or whatever. Right there. Uh, maybe it's this one with the port. Oh, that's the one with the port. Okay. You know, if we send them all here, deselect, uh, the 10,000, we'll send them all right there. They should all be able to fit in that, that location. All right, so we're working on those, those provinces there and, uh, fighting these battles over here. Yeah, they might all go there. I don't know. 
I'm gonna chase this army down here since I don't know where they're at or what they're doing. I assume they're coming into here, which poses us a threat. And we did finish sacking this, excellent. And I suppose we'll just want to keep our troops here for now. Yeah, we'll just stay on this side, guys, just in case they do another uh, attack across the sea, which they very well could end up doing. It's a real possibility. And let me just make sure those 10,000, yeah, they're still still moving. Uh, see how much longer till we finish repairing here. Uh, it's going to be a while. There's still a lot of heavily damaged ships there, guys. All right, so, yeah, I don't know where that one army went. Uh, again, very good numbers. There they are. There you are. Tried to get away from me. All right, so we'll chase them down. Still got those guys there moving. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're going to turn them down, tell them no. And I, I think we'll actually be able to take more territory if we wanted to. Uh, we could always take a bit more. In fact, we could probably end the war now and just uh, ask for the territory that we want. Although we don't have the... Uh, well, yeah, I'm not sure how that, that works because you don't have it occupied. Uh, so we got this Touch by Mercury event again, uh, which is a very nice one. Uh, if you want to take the money, of course. I think we're going to take the, the Civic Tech and... God, that spends more of that money. I'm trying to save money in this conflict, but we have not been saving money. We've been spending on events, mostly. I mean, I guess it's not a bad use of our, our funds, though. So if we attack them here, it's a little bit on the fence on whether or not we would win, because our general is equal to theirs. Uh, we're fighting in the hills. We probably have better troops and better modifiers. Hmm. I feel like we'd probably still win. Uh, if, if you just look at the, the, the actual generals here, I mean, th their side has less heavy infantry than we do. Yeah, a lot less. It's mostly light infantry. Yeah, I feel pretty confident we're going to win. This is kind of all over the, the place with the, the our side might win. I, I really don't think that's as equal as they're making it out to be. Not even remotely close to being as equal as they're making it out to be, actually. Yeah, so I don't know if you can just, like... Let me just take a look here. I'm curious. Could we just demand? I mean, yeah, you can't even demand the territory because you have to have it occupied. But weren't they offering us territory? Yeah, I guess they could offer us an Abhis Treaty, but yeah, I don't think there's any way to demand the territory since you, you can't occupy it. It just automatically goes into your hands. So yeah, we might not be able to use the war score for anything like that, but we could. We're still going to use it, obviously, uh, because one use of it would be to uh, get them the free subjects. Which I think what we'll do, or uh, transfer their subjects over to us, might be a possibility too. All right, so we will do that battle. They have more troops they could send, and maybe the game was right. <laughs> maybe the game was is right about this that we were gonna have some trouble. Uh, we had the same tactics, and we got the the discipline. I'm very surprised with this, honestly. I thought this would be a little bit more in our favor. Now. We might actually end up losing this, though. Oh, I guess the game was right. No, no, no. We're going to win it. Okay, I was, I was looking at that wrong. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit more even than I was expecting. Okay. Not entirely sure why that is. I can tell you why, but we won it. That's what's important. And so what we're going to do is let's go and start pushing forward here and take get this territory taken back. Because uh, I'm not really worried about their, their troops anymore. I'm going to tell those guys no. No wine for you. All right, so they're almost done over there. Excellent. See, so yeah, now we just need to wrap up this this region here, guys. Be gentle. It's more than they deserve. And just make sure nobody comes and takes our territory back. And with that, this character here became a conqueror. That's pretty good. It gets that assault ability for us. And this might result in. That's yeah, a, a possibility. It might result in them eventually. Becoming a, a console. So yeah, the, the numbers here though, I mean yeah, they, they don't really speak the, the what we saw there, what it looked like was happening. I think the morale was the issue. It did say they had higher morale, and I think that's what was being considered. Uh, but yeah, we we still had a very good kill death ratio here. We outnumbered them uh, by a lot. So yeah, I was surprised that it was saying it was as even as it was. Uh, so we did get ourselves a military tradition. So let's go ahead and get that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get. Let's see what we want here. So we're just continuing down the, the Greek kingdoms. Yeah, we don't really care about the light cab morale, but we do want the heavy cab bonuses. So that's always helpful. 
Maybe we want to get the ship damage done there, man. Uh, start working on some of these fleet ones. Though I think we have fleet ones we haven't got yet. So yeah, we could always do this one here. Just because we have been having some trouble in the sea. Oh, you know what? The morale was a problem in that battle. So you know what? Let's go for the morale here. Yeah. And I'm sure they have all this tree filled out. So that might explain why they why they had the, uh, the higher morale. All right. So one province left to take here, guys. One province left. 10,000 still moving down. I don't think we'll need them, though. Because we are just about done here. They might attack again. Uh, we'll have to, to beat off another offensive from them. Did we ever get that... Uh, uh, almost. We almost have it. Wow. Alright, so these guys have just been sitting there the whole time. Uh, it does look like the... Uh, yeah, that tribe finished up the conflict and didn't lose the territory here. So, yeah, we'll just quickly take it all over from them. Though... I think they'll actually outnumber us. So we'll probably have to bring up more troops, like some levies from around Spain. Yeah, we'll have to bring the levies up. We'll wait, though, until we're ready to declare war. And uh, I don't know about their troop numbers here. They actually have a decent general, though. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to bring a bunch of troops up, I think, in order to win that now, because they have uh, more numbers than we do and a better general. We could also bring the legion over, but obviously... That would be a, a issue because we don't have our fleet here. Fleet's way over here right now. And I think we actually have to end the episode. <sighs> That's a shame. I was really hoping to get this done in this uh, episode, but uh, yeah, it's, it looks like we... It, it took a little bit longer, and that's because they finally attacked us. It took them a while before they they went on the offensive, but they did, and because of that, it did uh, delay this a little bit. Uh, but things are going well. We just have a few provinces left. I'm just going to take this state over, guys. And then I think we're going to be done. Obviously taking that one as well. And then, yeah, after this, I think we'll be done. We'll make peace and we'll try and get something from them. Uh, either transferring of subjects or freeing some of their subjects uh, with the war score that we have. That's what we'll, we'll use that for. Uh, they do have their ships on the move. Uh, they're coming over here, so they could be transporting troops. So that's something to consider. We might have to deal with another invasion, guys. So maybe we might want to bring the fleet out just to quickly wipe them out. Most of the ships are repaired. There's just a couple damaged ones. Uh, but yeah, that'll be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it, even if it was a, a shorter one. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.